Okay, so here's a tool, my grinding tool. Um, pretty soon I'm gonna fine grind for one final uh, hour with five micron aluminum oxide. These tiles were a little thin, in my opinion, to, to grind this uh, mirror fully. I mean, I still have some depth to them, maybe a millimeter, but if I had gone with a deeper mirror, I don't know, I'd have to calculate to see um, what the minimum thickness of the uh, of the tiles that needs to be. So you got to be careful with that. I It actually worried me a little bit while I was grinding, but it turned out fine, so that's not a problem. Um, sealing a plaster tool with epoxy is really a pain in the butt. Uh, you're always patching it up and, and fixing holes and and you know as you can see here it, it ain't pretty so what I'm gonna do is I poured a plaster tool and uh, somebody recommended um, sealing it with polyurethane so I'm gonna try that uh, this time and see how that works out um, otherwise I'm almost done so finally I'm gonna be able to start polishing you can see that the tool actually reflects some light um, because it's fine ground already with uh, two hours with uh, five micron grit or aluminum oxide so we'll see how that goes um, one thing I've noticed uh, you're gonna see in the video that I turn this wooden board on top of the other one and um, the bottom board with all the water that's dripping and, and uh, you know it's getting wet all the time I have to uh, hose it down uh, with water you know it's always getting wet so that bottom wooden board tends to warp a lot it'll warp one direction then when it when it becomes concave I flip it over and then keep working that way uh, then it warps again so I have to flip it over again um, so you kinda have to manage that warping of, of uh, of the wood. Sí. Sí. Bueno. 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 Sí. B